I'm in Windows 11, as you can see by the taskbar at the bottom, and I'm going to show you how to make changes to your display settings. So if I right click anywhere on the screen, I can choose display settings. And you can see I have three different monitors. So my monitor at the top has different resolution than the other two. But now I want to take a look at my resolution. So you got to scroll down a little bit and you can see the resolution on my top monitor is locked in. And that's just because it's a television instead of a regular monitor. So I'm going to click on the monitor that I'm on now and we can see the display resolution is here. I've got the recommended amount so I can go in and change to any one of these other options. Now, the issue is, is if I do change, you might see that the that the resolution may not show up the way you want it. Sometimes it causes the taskbar to disappear and you have to scroll down to get to it, uh, things like that. But if I go, let's see, let's go ahead and try something more radical. There we go. Now we can see that the sides are cut off. So I'm going to click on revert and then I'm going to go ahead and choose back to the recommended amount and keep those changes. And now I'm back to where I was, which is the 1080 on the monitor. We can also see some other options in Windows 11, such as my multiple displays option. If I click on that, you can see I've got the remember window locations, minimize windows. Also, you can choose which one to make your main display, and that's going to be the one with the clock on it. Unfortunately, they don't yet have the ability to have a clock on all the different taskbars. We have the nightlight option, and I scroll down a little bit, we've got the scale option. Now, what I like about scale is that you don't have to change your display resolution to get your fonts larger. So you can hit the drop down on scale. I'll just change this to 150 just to make it more obvious. There we go. Now we can see the words on the screen are much larger, but I didn't have to change my resolution. So that may be an option for people who are having trouble reading their screen, but they don't want to make the resolution different because it messes up uh, the screen on everything. And if you want to change it back, you can just go back to the 100%. So that is how you change your display settings in Windows 11.